exciting tour for you. It's called Mill View and it's in Colchester. It's by Seven Developments and they know how to build a good house. So think family friendly, but also party. Let's go inside. <laughs> Welcome to this amazing new build house. I cannot wait to show you guys in here. It's a very much an upside down house, which you'll see, it's very interesting. There are some bedrooms down here, so let's go and walk through. First things first, I have to show you the principal bedroom. It's a suite and it's at the front of the house as well. So you have lovely views of the rest of the development. It's so nice. It's huge, as you can see. Good enough for a big four poster bed with lots of space around it. Look at the carpet, the finishing, the spotlights, even the placement of everything is done so, so well. You also have an amazing ensuite over here. Welcome to your stunning, luxurious and unexpected ensuite bathroom. The black tile, so big that you have a standalone bath and also a walk-in shower that can fit a few people. They've designed it so well to make sure that you feel like you're in a luxurious home because you are. All of the bedrooms as well have this inbuilt storage for wardrobes. They've thought about the people that are actually going to live here. It's not just a show home. You have a cloakroom over here and you also have another double bedroom that also has its own inbuilt storage and a non-suite shower room. <laughs> So we have another bedroom, this is bedroom number three. Again, a double room with really good light because every single bedroom has a really good, really big sort of picture window so you can see outside on the sides of the house because it actually has wraparound land. So all of this is actually part of your home. Really nice views. Okay, before I get on with it though, I wanna know in the comments what you think so far. Remember, there is so much more to show you. I'm excited. Okay, bedroom number four over here. It's currently being used as like an extra sort of snuggy guest room, I would say. It's really cozy as well. But again, good window over there. So you're seeing the other side of the house. All the bedrooms are a really good size, so the kids will not be arguing about that. This is the family bathroom, which these two bedrooms will share. I love it. I haven't actually walked into this bathroom yet and I'm pleasantly surprised. I love the bathtub. I really love the black finishes. It gives a really Nordic, Scandi sort of vibe in here. It's very neutral, very earthy. You've got the bath and again, you have your shower. And the toilet is nicely tucked away. It's not the focal point of the bathroom, which I like because toilets, toilets are not nice. <laughs> so they need to be hidden away. And of course you have a really big window, which is frosted for obvious reasons, but it's really nice in here. I could definitely see myself getting ready in here. It's very calming and spa-like. Okay, come on, let's go upstairs. Welcome to the heart of the home. We've got the kitchen on here, this level, the utility, we've got everything going on. It's exciting. This utility room looks like many people's kitchens. <laughs> it is so nice. It has everything you could possibly need in a utility and it's all nicely hidden away. You've got your washing machine, your dryer, sink, lots of storage for all of your products and things that you don't want on show. And you also have another guest bathroom off the utility. Meaning your guests that you're entertaining out there, they don't need to walk around your house looking for the loo. Welcome to your five star kitchen. This is epic. I love the height of the ceilings. I love how open and airy it feels. It does not feel like England. It does not feel like Essex. It's giving me LA. And there's so much space to play around and host in here. I'm just gonna let you guys take in how amazing this is. First of all, you literally have a whole wine cooler <laughs> inbuilt in your island. Perfect for hosting. We've got glasses out and ready for you to host whenever you want to. Windows everywhere, bringing in that natural light, bringing the nature in because of how open and bright the house is and you see greenery from every angle. It's just amazing. You've also got these elongated countertops over here, which is just nice for decor purposes and things like that and a lot of storage. So you cannot say that you don't have enough storage in this house. There is storage everywhere. I really love the open shelving as well, just bringing the spices and colors and natural earthy tones out. You've got a freezer and you've got a fridge, 
with lots of drinks in here as well. <laughs> it's a party house and you've obviously got your oven and things to cook. And I really, really love this Siemens hob as well. You've got the suction here, which means you don't have to have one hanging that looks ugly and blocks your amazing view. Yes, the house is modern, but it's also really cozy. There's a log burner here, which also is double-sided. Over here, you actually have a lovely space for a dining table, overlooking lovely views, and next to the bifold doors and a nice balcony area as well. This is amazing, you guys. This is a spiral staircase, very industrial, which is in keeping with the flow and vibe of this house. There's really nice rustic element, but up here, there's something special. So let's go and have a look. Talk about a feature. I love this. This is like a hidden mezzanine split level sort of thing going on. Amazing views, you are right in the roof. And this to me would be perfect for an office space. I mean, they've set it up perfectly. Quiet, compact zone, but it doesn't feel tight and stuffy. It's airy. You also have this glass, you know, separation and you can overlook the kitchen and everything and just take in the fact that this is your home and work obviously you need to get to work okay there's some more surprises downstairs that i have to show you but i don't think i'll ever get over this staircase you guys again in the comments let me know what you think do you like this feature is it for you let me know let's go outside onto your like very large terrace area which would be absolutely perfect for hosting parties, dinner parties, birthdays, whatever, <laughs> barbecues, you name it, you have the space out here. And what I love is the fact that there's land, green belt land behind you that really makes you feel like you are in the middle of nowhere and this is your kingdom. And I like that, I really like that. Come on guys, take in this view with me. Just look at the house, it looks amazing from here. It looks so good. But it is a bit cold because we are in England, so I'm going back inside because I'm getting goosebumps. So far we're loving the house, right? Because I am. You guys aren't that hard to please. Okay, let's go up the stairs. We have another floor and this is what I would call your living room, your real cozy living space in the house. It's massive and it kind of just feels like a whole separate area. It's at the back of the house. You have lovely views. There's so much space for seating. Look at this. I believe this house suits me. I want you guys to tell me in the comments what you think. Let me not get too comfortable. I need to do my job. I've always envisioned my home, maybe like not the next home, but the next home, to have a window seat area like this, where you just look outside and take in your view. And I read books and I play music and I journal or I pray, whatever. I just have that vision in my mind. And then I see one here today. How stunning is it though, guys? And there's another little secret over here. Now I've been told that this wasn't actually part of the original floor plan of the house, but there was this extra space. And they thought, why don't we make a little cubby extra area? And I know exactly what I would do with it. So this, I think I would use as a library. Hear me out. I'd put loads of shelves here and just have all of my amazing books and th features, all of my magazine features or awards, whatever. I'd have like a hall of fame, enriching educational zone over here. And then you have this extra level. It's crazy. These stairs can actually be folded up and hidden away and there's a door. So I personally feel like this snug area is quite a good space. You could use it for storage, I wouldn't. I think I would use it as a recording room, maybe a podcast room if you're a creative, or a music studio if you're a musician. You could have your instruments here, set up a booth, because it's quite compact and you can really soundproof this room. You also have a really deep and wide storage cupboard in here, which is amazing considering this was never part of the plan. Um, so you can hide your electricals and all the things and filing, whatever it may be. So storage cupboard, studio, I think I'd go with the studio room. And it has a really nice feature over there. I love that they've left this open because one, it allows the 
the light to come in from the windows over there. You can see your office over there. If, I mean, I'm quite sure, but if you tiptoe, you can actually see the kitchen down there and the view is amazing. But like I said, if you were gonna use this for recording purposes and things, you might wanna block this off and soundproof the room. It is completely up to you. But I just feel like this is such a nice feature. And look at that, look at the window. It's stunning. Let me know what you would use this room for. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is this the kind of house you're looking for potentially? If it is, you know what to do. I'll leave all of the details of the property down below in the description. But I also wanna know for you guys out there just looking and getting inspiration. Is this the style of home, one, that you like and two, that you want to see me share more? I need to know your feedback because I wanna do more of these personally because eventually I wanna live in a house like this. So let's manifest you guys. Let's bring it into reality. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep on watching and also follow me on all of my other socials. I'm everywhere. Bye. Three, two, one, action. Sorry, it's the wind. Oh. Sorry, do it again, do it again. Three. Let me take this back to what? You have got the nice window, which is not clear. Sorry, I was going to say it's frosted, so. Exactly.